Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a fun one from Audio Slave today. We're gonna do Show Me How to Live. Now this one's in drop D, so just take your low E string, tune it out a whole step to D, so. Down to D. And you'll be good to go. Now before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel uh, so you can know when I release a video. You can like and comment, watch the videos, it really, really helps. And if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube or anything I do online, Best way to do it is to click that link in the description. It's a link to my Guitar Academy. Signing up there is what keeps all this stuff going. Um, you'll get a free seven day trial too with that link when that gives you full access to all of my courses in the Academy. One subscription, full access to the whole thing, uh, even during your trial. And uh, you, well, I even have live streams every single Saturday with just Academy members so you can ask me questions in real time. You get personalized support from me beyond that. And obviously all the courses cover everything from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, guitar tone, theory, uh, you name it, it's a lot over there. So please go check it out. All right, so let's jump in. So once we get into uh, drop D here, we basically have a couple of, um, there's like a main riff to this song, which is or two main riffs to this song, uh, which are actually a lot of fun to play. And, um, and then there's a couple of like the intro and stuff where everything's kind of subdued and, and we'll even cover the cover to solo, even though he's using like this weird effect. Um, and uh, anyway, I kind of try to show you how to make it sound similar to the recording, even though he's not playing it that way. So doing one of those things again. So here we go. We're so we're in drop D here, and we have this little intro, which is basically just a just that kind of thing. So what's going on there is it's a D power chord. So it's an open D power chord. So you have the open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B. So just those three strings strum that. And then you're gonna come to this power chord, which is a one finger power chord since we're in a drop tuning. So you're just gonna be placing um, uh, your index finger across the second fret of the D, A, and low E string. Now obviously this is a low D now, but we'll basically just have that. So you do this like four times at the beginning. I believe it's four. And then we get into what I say is pretty much the main riff. It's the thing they kick into. Uh, and then when the verse comes, it's the same the, It's the same riff during the verse, except it kind of rolls back the distortion a little bit. Uh, but it's the same riff done four times during the verse as well. So this main riff looks like this. Then you just repeat that. All right, so there's some muted hits that are going on in there. So before we talk about that, let's talk about the notes we're actually playing down here. And then we'll just kind of fill in the blanks with the muted hits. So it's gonna start with this, this low D string open, hammer on the second fret. Then over to the second fret on the A string, and then the second fret on the D. So with this. So it's a little bit tricky. You kind of want to separate those notes, and you can do it with just rolling your fingers. And I'm also kind of muting. Like as I get across the strings, I'm kind of killing the, the low strings of the mute down here. So after that, it goes to the 0 2 on the low D string, and then one more time on the 0 2. I'm not, make sure there's muted hits, but I'm skipping them intentionally for a minute. So we just have this. So after you've done that 0 2 on the low D string twice, jump up here to the seventh fret on the same string. You're going to hammer on 7 to 8, and then back down to 7. And then you're going to go. That's going to be seven. Jump down here to the second fret and hit that twice. So we just. And then five. And then zero. And hit that zero twice. So we have this. And 
And then we're gonna continue the riff the same way again. Except after those two zero twos here, when you're after the, kind of halfway through the repeat. And then we just pause. Now you're hearing a And then they repeat the riff again. So the whole riff is this. So just basically like that. So now we have those muted hits. So we have this. So it's a quick little muted, so I'm just muting the strings down here and just doing a quick down up. That's usually what's going on when you hear a muted hit. So it's like, it has this. So after you get to that first note there on the D string, that second fret, you're gonna hear the first muted hit. And then you're gonna go zero, two, muted hit between after that one and then and then the next zero too. So we have those uh, muted hits right there. So this. And then another muted hit after the second zero too. So anytime there's like a little break. And then we're gonna come up here to the, once again, after that hammer, and get back down to seven, it's gonna be a muted hit. And then we have, and then it's the same, there's no muted hits after that. So we have this. So when it starts to repeat, it's just gonna have those muted hits. And it's gonna kinda kill everything after that second zero too. So the whole riff with the muted hits. So it's really fun to play. Once you get those muted hits going, it has a really nice groove to it. Uh, it's a great little rhythm workout. Um, and then uh, when it gets, like I said, when it gets to the verse, it's the same riff. You just kind of, you can just roll the volume back a little bit. Not that much. Kind of make it kind of funky as you do it. And it's uh, really, um, it's a lot of fun to play. Now, coming out of that, we have the verse. He plays it like that, the verse, kind of a subdued version of that main riff, just four times. And there are just some muted hits after the verse, kind of kind of building up, or just muted hits that build up to the chorus, which is full on. All right, so that riff, uh, we're gonna be playing full power chord here at this, the, that second fret. So that chord we were playing across the, the D, A, and that low D string. The second fret. Then move it up to the fifth fret. So this. So then we have the open low D string. And you're gonna pull off two to zero on the low D. So this. And then after that second pull off, you're gonna jump up here to the fifth fret on the A string and hammer five to seven on the A string. And then back to the open chord here. So this is the open, uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings open. So like this. And that's the riff. All right, so after the chorus, it goes back to the verse. So the same verse that we did before. So 
So that riff, and then back to the same chorus that we just covered. Uh, now, out of that second chorus, we have the solo. So whenever I see him play this live, um, he has this kind of effect, which almost sounds like maybe like a tremolo effect, like we're kind of taking the sound, da -da 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 -da, that kind of thing, in and out. But um, he's also just picking the high E string. So you can just kind of, you can just alternate pick on the high E string. Now what you're hearing on the recording there is you're also hearing the fifth above it as well. So you're hearing this B in there as well too. So you can recreate that even though when you see him play it live, you don't hear that note, you just hear this. But we can do it. No, there's no reason not to, and I'm not even gonna put any kind of effect on it or try to mimic what he's going or if he's doing it. Because I know sometimes he'll do stuff with a kill switch and stuff like that too. I, uh, but I don't see him doing that kill switch when he's live. He just has one hand in the air and <laughs> he's just doing this. So, uh, but if you want to get closer to the recording, and he might have like a harmonizer on it or a pitch shifter or something that's adding that note on top. Um, or maybe the whammy pedal's doing it. So he does use a whammy pedal at the end. All you have to do is play that, instead of playing it as an open high, open high E string like he's doing, play that note over here, the fifth fret on the B. And then you can get that note on top, that seventh fret there on the high E. And you're good to go. And if you can just alternate pick across those three strings, you can throw an effect on it if you want. It'll sound closer to the recording than what you see him do live. So um, I, I would do it like that. Or you can just do it like he does it live, which is just picking the high E string. All right, so, and then at the end of the solo, he just kind of hits across, hits the strings open. So all six strings if you want. And then it goes back to this, this thing that we did at the intro. those two chords uh, that we play in the intro of the song and then it goes straight to the chorus so now out of the chorus they go to this outro section so he kind of does it like this So it's almost like it looks like you're starting the chorus riff over again. Uh, well, not really, just or, or at the um, basically straight out of that last does a zero open D power chord, which is just this bottom three strings open and the second fret across it, and then just hit that chord again. So that's basically what the outro section is. Is that done a few, like four times? Like zero two. So that comes out of that last chorus, chorus riff. Okay. And it looks like at the end he holds this and then I believe what he's doing is he has you can see like some vocal uh, effects hitting the vocals uh, which is changing in his, his pitch of his vocals and I believe um, Tom Morello's also has a whammy pedal so he's letting this chord ring and he starts bringing it up and stuff uh, the pitch up with a whammy pedal I, I, I sounds like that's what's going on there so you don't see his hand move anywhere he's just doing it with a pedal um, so if you have a whammy pedal maybe just bring it up an octave or two, whatever, have some fun with it. But that's what he's doing. He's just kind of doing, a, I believe, a whammy pedal thing on that last chord. All right, so that's about it. So it's there's not a lot going on in the song, a lot of crazy riffs being thrown at you, but there, there's a couple of riffs that are really cool, have a really great groove to them. Um, and especially that verse riff, it's kind of tricky. And once you get that, it's a, it's a lot of fun to play. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.